Yeah. I'm going to use the bathroom now before we start. Okay. I'm just going to sit <laughs> so here give quietly. Me just, give me just 90 seconds. Bye, All right. We're back. We're doing uh, another, another music chat, doing the two by two album reviews where each of us selects two albums and forces the other one to listen to them. And then we, we discuss, and we'll also talk about some, uh, maybe some highlights and lowlights from the last few months. Yep. It was a packed month and, and maybe this is the trend. This is the first time I've really noticed it. Uh, just probably because I've been paying more attention to mm-hmm. what is coming out when during the year. Uh, but, uh, September seems to be the pinnacle, uh, which kind of makes sense because I'm assuming that a lot of the artists want to get their albums in with enough listening time before the end of the year. Um, and then it just, it just peters off October to December. I mean, you don't see anything hardly come out in December. Um, so there was a crap ton to keep up with and listen to in September. I don't know about you. Yeah, like, yeah. The I feel like the late winter, early spring, and then the fall are the biggest. Maybe I, I don't know. That's the way it feels like anyway for yeah. releases, for volume of releases. Yeah. Yeah. So let's maybe we should just get started. Talk about uh, talk about these albums. I'll say again. Um, I selected my choices without actually listening to them or maybe only uh, a little bit. And um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you did, but that, that's what that, I don't know. I, there are ones that I wanted to check out. And so I, I put them in here. Uh, sure. Basically, so, one of them that you selected, actually, both of them that you selected are also ones that I want to listen to as well. So that's good. Um, does it affect so my, your choice? Sorry. Does it affect your choice what you cover on your other episodes? Do you not do you avoid certain ones because you've already talked to them, talk about talked about them? Yeah, even though I don't think it matters, even though I don't think it matters, I don't like being redundant. Yeah. I I feel I for feeling like I'm being redundant. Yeah, repetitive. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Uh, but anyway. What's your first step? Yeah, so first yeah, first step, this is lifeguard. Crowd can talk slash <laughs> dressed in trenches. I will say first, I would not have selected this. I, I realized that it was a it was it's basically a comp of two EPs yep. onto one LP. Um, yeah, but a kind of a young Chicago indie rock band, yep. new, fresh on the scene. What do you think of this one? Uh, I, I struggled with it a little bit, but that makes sense to me because of what you just said it you know it being a compilation of two eps uh you know every once in a while an ep will come out and it's by an artist that i like and it's the best thing ever because it's it's straight to the point it's condensed it's you know four or five songs and that's great uh but most eps uh they seem a bit of a throwaway in in a lot a lot of times uh, with newer bands, that can be the case as well, just because they're, you know, they're still getting their feet, in the, you know, they're getting set and, and uh, you know, they're getting their sound. Um, uh, and that's kind of how I felt with this one is that, you know, they super young. I think they're like 17, 18 or whatever. Um, yeah, very uh, young. Chicago and, and uh, yeah, so it just didn't it didn't really catch me. Um, it didn't resonate with me. There weren't a, a handful. There were only a handful of songs that I really dug um, to a point. Uh, but, you know, I definitely appreciate their musicianship and their vibe. Uh, it reminded me a lot of the stuff uh, coming out late 90s, uh, early 2000s uh, that, you know, we uh, were listening to back in back in the day uh, at the radio station. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I, I liked it. I'm, 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 I like them. I'm curious to find, you know, what to hear the, whatever their first full length release is. Um, but I right. struggled with it a little bit just because I, I didn't feel like there was, there's only a couple songs and even the newer stuff, the, the second half of it, I think is the newer songs, newer five songs. 
um, was a little better than the the first four. Um, so, but yeah, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's good. I, I think I agree with you though. With um, it's kind of just maybe a little disjointed, um, uneven, and kind of odd. Like, and I think it's it's because it's two different two EPs smashed together. Yeah. Um, I love that they're making this kind of music. That they're kids, basically young yeah. people making this kind of music. I think that's great. Uh, I definitely am looking forward to seeing what they do on a, on a full length LP kind of like what you're saying. Um, I know, I know people, I know people that, that like this, uh, that like this release a lot. Um, yeah. yeah, I think that pretty much, pretty much sums yeah, up. Yeah. I mean, it's on, it's on Matador. Matador knows what they're doing. Uh, so, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, uh, full length will be on the same and, uh, yeah. Decent stuff. Yeah. Uh, so my uh, first pick is uh, from uh, Cutworms. Uh, it's a self-titled release from Cutworms. Uh, uh, this is the third record um, on uh, Jag Jaguar uh, Records uh, from New York-based. This this band. It's really just the the vehicle for uh, a guy by the name of Max Clark. Um, uh, so yeah, he's been around uh, for a while now, and uh, it's it's uh, modern music or modern indie uh, music, heavily influenced by early rock and Americana, uh, which is something you don't hear uh, often anymore. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know what what uh, what were your thoughts about it? Yeah, so I, I was not familiar with with uh, Cutworms. I don't think I've heard pre previous releases. I am under the impression that this is a bit of a somewhat, somewhat of a departure from what he was doing earlier. Um, yeah, I. It has that late fifties, early sixties rock and roll, country, rootsy vibe going on. It like kind of like good times, great oldies, and then. Uh, <laughs> with, uh, <Yeah>. um, <laughs> Uh, with with the, uh, more country, country tinged, I guess at times. Sure. I, I think that I don't think it really necessarily grabbed me. I appreciate the the it is fairly unique, I guess, kind of what you're saying. Yeah. To, to kind of mine the that content, I guess, or use have those that influences. Approach. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it's good, but I don't, I don't think that it, it really, really stuck with me. I know, um, John, the digital gramophone reached out to me about this right before it came out and asked me if, if I had heard it. So I was planning on, on checking it out. I don't, I think sure. that he, I think he, he may like it, um, may like it more than I do, but I don't know. Um, I don't want to put words in anybody's mouth. Anyway, I think it's solid, um, it's one, it's one of those where I, I definitely like some tracks more than others, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe I need to revisit. Yeah. No, I, at some point. I dug it. I dug it, man. It's, uh, you know, just something about, uh, there's something innocent uh, about it um, and refreshing uh, about it. And yeah, I, I loved almost every track. It's probably going to be in my top 10. Um, but, you know, it, maybe, I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like, I, I picked I, I pick these records for the top 20 or, or you know, my favorite records from the year um, because I listen to too much of one thing and I get sick of it. So this is like a departure from what you would normally hear. So and, and I have a right. tendency to pick, you know, stuff that's a little off the beaten path and, and unique. Um, uh, uh, so this is, you know, definitely um, a good one for me uh, this year, at least. Yeah. I'll never make it my mind can't think without you. Somebody else could say all these things. Well, that's true. Ooh. All right. 
right, so the next selection that I had was uh, the incomplete <laughs> posthumous fifth LP from Mark Linkus, Sparkle Horse. Of the album is called Bird Machine. Um, I'm not sure your position on, on Sparkle Horse, but what did you think of this release? I like Sparkle Horse. Uh, you know, I have, I think, almost all their records in my collection. Um, uh, upon listening to it, I, I was expecting to like it more than I did. Um, and, uh, you know, overall, given the circumstances, pretty much matches it matches the circumstances because I, I just feel like it was unfinished. Uh, there were a handful of songs in there that I really did uh, enjoy um, uh, that were better, you know, than I expected. Uh, so that, I think they did a, a, a decent job at, at, at putting this together, given that it was unfinished, uh, but it just doesn't, it just seems kind of odd and missing something uh, to me. What do you think? So I think I'm I'm almost the exact opposite. I went into it thinking yeah. that I wasn't going to like it at all. Okay, <laughs> I'm fairly weary of these posthumous releases where you don't yeah. know how much was done, um, like what the state of the recordings were before somebody got their hands on them, and and you know you don't know how much those people did um, to finish it. You know, it's unclear. If any of this, I, I mean, I, I guess I don't know. I don't know the full backstory, but I tend yeah. to be a little bit um, skeptical of, of these sorts of things. Yeah. Um, sometimes you think it's maybe a little bit of a money grab or whatever. But I was, I was really very pleased with this. I was, again, I found it surprisingly, I guess, surprisingly good. So maybe that's part of the problem is I low expectations and then like yeah. very much exceeded. But I think I, I thought it was really good, like really, really good. Um, I thought the first, after, I think the first time I listened to it, that first song is on, I'm like, this is going to be awful. I'm like, this is not going to be good. And that, but then as, as the album progressed, I liked it more and more. Um, it does have Jason Little from Granddaddy on there uh, a bit. Okay. But yeah. I can hear that. Yeah. Yeah. I think doing some, I don't know if it's all backing vocals or, or what he's doing on there, but he's on there. Anyway, yeah. I, I yeah. I thought it was good, but I can understand uh the thinking the opposite. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you know, this would be boring if we had the same exact opinions on all these. <laughs> so <laughs> So, and then, so my next pick um, is um, Be Your Own Pet. Uh, this is the, I think it's their third or fourth record. Hold on one sec here. Here we go. Um, yeah, this is the fourth record. Uh, they're from Nashville, Tennessee, uh, sort of a garage rock outfit um, that's apparently been around for a long time since the 2000s and i just was not aware of them uh it's the first album uh since they disbanded back in 2008 um and uh sorry i forgot to even mention the name of the uh, album it's a uh, be your own pet the name of the album is mommy it's out on third man records um and uh yeah uh wh what did wh what are your thoughts on the record yeah, I like the the sense of humor and the high energy, you know, upbeat anthemic songs. Um, it kind of is a little samey in places. I think I prefer some of the songs that kind of break out of the formula. But I think it's you know, I think it's overall it's overall a good record. Um, I think it almost has metal guitar if the, you okay. know what i'm saying like heavy like that that that, that kind of sure. yeah 
I don't know, kind of grates on me a little bit at times. Yeah. But um, I like the vocals. I like or I like her her vocal style. Um, you know, it has. Uh, I was gonna I was gonna start naming off some bands. I don't that I was gonna compare it to. I'm not gonna do that. Um, yeah, like I say, overall, I think it's 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 solid. Again, it's probably not one that I'm gonna come back to very often. Yeah. Um, like it didn't really. Were you familiar with them before? Higher. Familiar with them, but I don't. I never owned anything yeah. by them. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what are your I, thoughts. I really dug it. I mean, you know, this, this is why I picked the the records. Um, you I, pick I them because you know that you like them. Yeah. They, well, okay. I've, I've listened to them, and and this is these are my you know top two from from right right around that time. Um. And, uh, yeah, I really, I really dig it. Uh, you know, I will say that, uh, you can probably get a little distracted by the, the sort of flashy kink novelty of, of the, of the record, um, both mm -hmm. in the cover. Uh, it's glammy. The, it's like very like glammy. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it is, it's glammy and, and just kind of, there's some novelty to it. Uh, you know, I try not to get distracted by that. Uh, uh there's the cover and the some of the songs you know have sort of that uh um subject matter uh but you know overall I just really dug uh the vibe of the record just really a lot of energy uh you know decent subject matter uh you know great female fronted garage rock stuff yeah i mean i can kind of see what you're saying with the the rock um genre or style uh, is kind of a little all over the place but might skew towards you know campy or you know glammy which can be a turn off but uh yeah I, I i dug this and i was i was happy to to uh, uh stumble on the band i'll probably have to go back and check out some of their uh previous records um so yeah, yeah. i thought it was a fun record and definitely it, it, you know Different to the, I think we talked about this uh, last time we got together about the uh, these kind of sad, sappy <laughs> indie rock records. This is yeah. kind, of a, kind of an antidote to that type of thing, I guess. Exactly, and and, and, and I mean, it's, that, it's a, you know, it's really like a punk record, really. It is, like yeah, with garage punk, yeah, it. yeah, like you know, yeah, like, yeah, almost like a New York Dolls uh, vibe, right, right, right. yeah, yeah. Um, so, so yeah. Um, and yeah, the I just can't I can't do much of the sad music anymore. So um, <laughs> maybe I'm picking, maybe I'm skewing towards uh, things that are a little bit more upbeat and and hopeful. But uh, uh, this is definitely one of them. Yeah. So. So um, you got some highlights, other things from recent months that, that you've been enjoying or? or I do. Do you want to go first? I also have uh, disappointment and, and failed li <laughs> uh, uh, listening experiments. Uh, just go ahead and uh, uh, wait, 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 start wherever you'd like. Okay. So, uh, okay. So, <laughs> so there are a handful of bands I just want to mention, you know, like I said, there's, uh, there's a crap ton of releases this past uh, quarter, uh, mainly mm -hmm. in September. Um, and, you know, I, I've really been trying to, to force myself to branch out a little and listen to more stuff. Um, you know, I, I did try uh, Lemon Twigs. Uh, are you familiar with them? Do you like them? Uh, so I, I am familiar with them. I had their first um, album whenever that came out. Uh, I haven't really kept up with them. I know this yeah. is like, this is their third album. I'm not really sure. Like I, this is just a quick list of albums that. Did you like I it? Didn't even get through the front door with, uh, you know, tried lemon twigs, tried. Bedroom, okay. These are ones you don't them. like. Okay. No, these are ones I don't like. Well, don't okay. like so much that I, I couldn't even put in the effort. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I flipped it on you. Yeah. I've I mean, not listened uh, to the lemon twigs. First. Yeah. I've uh, not listened to the lemon twigs album. 
uh, bedroom, uh, which I think was on one of your videos. Uh, could yeah, I like that. that. That seems like something you wouldn't like. Yeah, <laughs> it seemed a little <laughs> emo to me, but you know, and then you know, okay. I'm always uh, afraid of that. Uh, Buck Meek uh, from um, uh, Big from, Thief, from, uh, yeah, Big Thief. Album. couldn't couldn't get into that. Hiss, Golden Messenger, couldn't get into that. Uh, tried with the Bully record that came out this year that okay. got a lot yeah, of attention. I, didn't, I couldn't get. It. I tried the Bully, didn't couldn't do it. Yeah, uh, Japanese House, uh, which reminded me a lot of, um, uh, damn, what's her name? Uh, they re reminded me a lot of the newer, you know, sort of uh, ultra pop stuff that's coming out. And I, I just, I, I couldn't do it. And then uh, Joanna Sternberg. Did you, did you try to listen to that record at all? I know it's on one of the bigger labels, indie labels. No, I don't, I, I don't okay. think I've listened to that. Yeah, so, and then... Moving on, uh, I have a handful of uh, albums that I did listen through and actually did review uh, that I was fairly disappointed with, um, that I had higher expectations for, but this, they just didn't meet them. Uh, the new okay. Animal Collective, Isn't It Now? Um, I, I, I'm not uh, too happy with that. It was just, it, I don't know. I just didn't really have any energy behind it. Uh, the new okay. uh, Mitski, uh, are you a fan of Mitski at all? Yeah, I, I like Mitski. Yeah, that kind, of, that kind of thing. Yeah, the the new record. I've not of, listened to this new one. Yeah, I just uh, I couldn't find anything on it that really grabbed me uh, like previous records of hers. Uh, unfortunately, mm -hmm. um, it's almost like she's just kind of going through the motions in my mind. I, you know, people go crazy for her. you know they think this record is so great. Uh, I, I yeah, I've seen good it. reviews. Yeah, a lot of good reviews. Um, the new national record, um, you know, again, the first two pages of uh, Frankenstein was something they released earlier this year. Um, and this one from the same sessions, obviously. I, I'm assuming they just didn't want to let the tracks they recorded go to waste. So they, they released this as a sort of a companion uh, laugh yeah. track out on 4AD. Uh, not, not too happy with it. There's some good songs. Surprisingly, the best song on it is uh, the one they did with... Uh, Bon Iver, which uh, Justin Vernon, uh, which mm. I'm not a huge fan of. I, f I find Bon Iver to be very overrated. Uh, I Just that name yeah. is so damn pretentious. I can hardly even hear it. <laughs> Granted, that first record was a masterpiece. But beyond that, I just I, ca I can't get on board. Um, okay. <laughs> so, and then uh, lastly, uh, the new Pretenders record, uh, you know, no, no big surprise there. I mean, you know, the Pretenders are, uh, Christine Hyam is, is, you know, in her later years, uh, mm -hmm. it doesn't happen very often that uh, a, a band that's been around for that long releases a new record that, you know, blows everybody's mind. Uh, but this one right. was kind of uh, just, it was uh, mopey. Uh, it didn't really, not a lot of energy there, not a, not a, a lot of good record, rock songs, unfortunately. Uh, uh, Speedy Ortiz, the new uh, record, Rabbit Rabbit, I've, I've liked uh, what they've done in the past. Uh, this one didn't really grab me. You either. didn't like this one? Okay. No, not digging it. So, sorry, that was a lot more than you were probably expecting. Uh, and then finally yeah, getting to fine. my my top 10. Uh, okay, ish. top 10, top 10. Top might be this 11. is your top 10 of the last uh, three no, months? No, it's just the additional 10 records that I really enjoyed, oh, okay. uh, that I got into. Uh, the the newest uh, Julie Byrne record, um, you know, got a lot of attention, uh, and rightly so. Uh, Greater Wings out on Ghost, Ghostly International, I, I found to be really good. You know, on the quieter, you know, chiller vibe, but still uh, a lot of really good songs. Um, I really dug that uh, Sweeping Promises record that came out on Sub Pop. Good Living is Coming for You. I think that was another record you you highlighted in, in one of your videos. Mm -hmm. um, that's good stuff. Uh, Jason, Jason Isbell in the 400 unit. Um, I actually, uh, and maybe this is again, more of just a reaction to just listening way too much uh, rock uh, uh, or, or pop and rock is uh i've actually been getting into some country stuff newer country stuff that I, I i found as of recently that i really um 
uh, enjoyed the Jason Isbell record in the 400 unit, Weather Veins out in Southeastern Records. Uh, I thought was really great. I mean, he's he's a great songwriter. songwriter. I, I, this is my first uh, record that I've actually uh, listened with him. Uh, you know, he's always been on kind of the sidelines for me. I've never really put in the effort, but finally I got around to it and and uh, uh, does not disappoint. A uh, couple other country-ish records. Uh, Steep Canyon Rangers, uh, uh, best known for being sort of the backing band for Steve Martin. Uh, they released the new record, uh, Morning Shift on Yep Rock. Um, yep Rock is a great label. Mm -hmm. So yeah. thought I'd give it a try. Uh, that was really fun. Um, uh, really uh, high quality, you know, not too kitschy, you know, country bluegrass stuff. Uh, great instrumentation, uh, decent lyrics too. Uh, Molly Tuttle and the Golden Highway. Uh, uh, really surprised by that as well. Uh, her album on Nonsuch uh, called City of Gold. Uh, certainly if you, you know, if anyone out there is a Bluegrass fan, uh, check those two out. Um, uh, I really dug the new OC's records. The last couple of OC's records uh, have been, I've been digging just because it's, I don't know, it's a little different from what I normally listen to, uh, but it scratches an itch. Um, this one called Intercepted Message uh, on In the Red Records. Uh, I really dug. Are you uh, a fan? Do you listen to OCs at all? Yeah. I have not listened to this new one, though. Yeah. It's, it's decent. That... Um, you know, it's it's not his best work, but... Uh, uh, I've heard there's you know. a lot of keyboards on there. Is that... That true? Yeah, that's the that's the new element is that, you know, it, it's uh, there's some like Devo or new wave in influence. Mm -hmm. It's still just, you know, them making crazy rock songs, garage rock. Right. Uh, right. But, uh, yeah. Good stuff. Um, listen to the new Screaming Females record, uh, Desire Pathway on Don Giovanni. Uh, really dug that. Um, uh, go, the new album by Girl Ray uh, called Prestige on Moshi Moshi. They're a, a band from the UK, a, a three-piece. Uh, good energy there as well. Uh, listen to it around the same time I listened to the uh, Being Your Own Pet. Uh, kind of a different vibe, but uh, definitely female-fronted, you know, really good, um, uh, fun rock, rock songs. Uh, the new Bonnie Prince Billy record I, I dug. I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, Keeping Secrets Will Destroy You on Drag City. Uh, that was really like great. That one also. Yeah. Um, and I know I know you're a fan. Um, Luluk, are you familiar with Luluk at all? At all? Assuming I'm I'm I, I, yeah, I don't know if you're saying it right or not. I, I have not listened. No, yeah. I have not listened. I've, I think new, I read something recently. Yeah, they have a new record I'll called Diamonds. I, I stumbled on them, their last record, which I think is their third, uh, a couple years ago. I don't remember exactly when, but uh, this one's called Diamonds. Uh, you know, same kind of same kind of vibe as before. Really kind of quiet, chill, uh, female-fronted vocal, uh, 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 popish rock stuff. Uh, really good out, out on uh, community music. Uh, and then lastly, uh, for my hip hop record, I've been trying to get into hip hop as well a little bit more. Um, mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, haven't found too much uh, that I've uh, really liked. Uh, but uh, the new one by No Name um, uh, called Sundial, which is a self release. Uh, uh, and, you know, she's been getting a lot of uh, um, press uh, as of recently uh, from her last couple records, too. Um, uh, is is really good. I, I'm I'm very impressed with with her uh, lyrical uh, the skill. It, it, it's yeah, it's 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 good stuff. If you're at all into more the more cerebral indie hip hop stuff, sounds good. What you got? <laughs> I actually you, you just you just laid a lot on me there. Um, I did. That's a lot of. It's a lot of. I really. Yeah, I really just have a list of kind of some some highlights, uh, uh, okay. some ten albums that I think I've all I've talked about uh, before. But that really, the like probably the the bit like the surprise hit for me, just because I wasn't on my radar at all, was the the being dead. That artist, the album is called "When Horses Would Run." Yeah, that. Um, 
yeah, there's something about it. I just really, really, really like that a lot. Um, they certainly also, don't like, uh, take themselves too seriously. Uh, yeah. It's, it's kind of fun. Yeah, I, I listened to that record too, and I liked it. Um, yeah, good stuff. Didn't yeah, I listened to that quite a yeah. bit. Um, yeah. Special Friend from from France, Wait Until the Flames Come Rushing In. I like that. Okay. Band Hurry from Philadelphia, Don't Look Back. Kind of power pop. You, you actually, I think you might like that. Um, I like Slow Dive a lot. I like their album, Everything is Alive. Uh, Small Intestines, <laughs> Hide in Time. That's one that, that that's newer that I like. I think it just came out maybe a week ago. The uh, Sweeping Promises album that you mentioned is on my list. Good Living is Coming to You. And then Malena's from Spain, album um, Ahura, the 1981, Move On, Sea Blight, Lemon Light, I just, I just, that just came out. And Dippers, I'm putting Dippers, classic, classic rock on my, on my list. They're on Goner, Goner Records. Okay. Interesting. So those are those are just some. It's it's always hard. I feel like I'm just uh, kind of repeating myself, but sure. Those are ones that I I just I just said uh, these are some. I also have a hard time remembering what when something came out. Like, did this come out this yeah. last few months or was it a little bit further? But anyway, yeah, well. but yeah, those are those are some albums that, that, that I've been enjoying um, in recent months. Let's say yeah. Um, yeah, I've listened to a handful of those. The, the slow dive, um, I was a little afraid of at first because, you know, they can get uh, instrumental. Um, and I'm, you know, I, I, I struggle with the instrumental music. I need some lyrics to, to, to pull me mm -hmm. in. But uh, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, and I, you know, granted, I have not spent enough time with slow dive. I, you know, I have a bunch of their records, but I, I haven't dug into them. Uh, but this one, yeah, it does, it does, uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, there's a lot of good stuff in there. Uh, nothing that really jumps out at you. Well, I mean, there's one song, one or two songs that I, that, you know, really jump out at you, but, uh, some of the other ones are a, a bit of more of a, a, a simmer, um, uh, kind of pop. So, yeah, but, uh, yeah, good stuff. Yeah. So I don't, yeah, I don't have any, any, did you have any, any additional uh no i covered enough didn't i you covered enough yeah <laughs> <laughs> um i i did i should have put together like a things i couldn't get through like you did but no uh, maybe next time there's because yeah, there's well, a lot keep you know you put something on yeah I, it, I it's hard enough for me to keep track of the ones that i like yeah yeah but um, you know i usually uh will just use spotify to check that stuff out before I right. go any farther. So it, I just keep them in there and you know can pull a quick yeah. list up. But yeah. And there's a bunch, there's a bunch of other uh records, I don't know, 10 or 15 that came out in the last month that I haven't I haven't been able to get to um that uh I still need to revisit on the, the Spotify list. So yeah, um, too much yeah. stuff. Yeah. I don't know how right, you so consistently keep on finding new stuff that I'm not even aware of. So you're you're uh, you're finding a lot of uh, international stuff. Uh, it sounds like. How do you come across those? I don't know. What, what do you mean? How do I come across? Them? Well, <laughs> it's it's the same it, as anything, I guess. I guess I'm 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 paying attention to mostly U.S. releases. So if it's a release uh, overseas, then it just doesn't even come out of my radar. Um, yeah, you know, a lot of times it's uh, you stumble upon one thing that that you like, and then and then it leads to a whole another, you know, bunch of you know, it, it starts to snowball. Yeah, like maybe maybe, there, maybe you, there's one band in France that that you like, and then you find other ones associated with them, or maybe on a, on on the same label. Um, that you kind of start to go down the rabbit hole and become exposed to more of them. I actually also get, I get a lot of recommendations 
Oh, yeah. People. I suppose you do. Um, yeah. Yeah. So. But that, that doesn't account for the new stuff, though. Obviously, you, you fall into a rabbit hole and you discover, you know, a whole new, you know, uh, subgenre or, or, you know, uh, locality of music. Uh, how do you stay in tune with it as they release new records? I don't know. Man. Once it's on the radar, <laughs> I just, I just, uh, um, you know, <laughs> some stuff I'll like follow certain, uh, labels on, like I've mentioned this before on like Bandcamp and, and some, and yeah. I find that doesn't, I find that even then I'm not, I don't know. I don't want to go down the Bandcamp rabbit hole again, but that's a whole nother topic. I, yeah. You know, there's some of that. And then the, I do, I do, you know, follow, places that review that do that are reviewing albums yeah. th there used to be a, a blog i think in it was either in spain or in france and it was in it was not in english that i used to that i used to i still would follow especially their um like top 10 from the from a year but i don't sure. think that that person it was just a person and i don't think they do yeah. it anymore uh but there's stuff like that yeah. Things come and, and then things come and go. All right. But a lot um, of it is label. Honestly, a lot of it is labels, right? Yeah. A lot of it is, I, I like something, I like this label and then you kind of see what are they putting out and maybe you're going to like it and maybe you're not. Um, so on and so forth. All right. I'll crack the code eventually. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, are we, uh, are we done? Should we just end? Yeah, we should just end it.